What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna have our community combo video. In these videos, I do pick five combinations from a community post. So without further ado guys, let's get this combo started. For our first combination, we do have the entry from Blurry FN and he does go with the dummy skin. I actually do adore this skin because it's very simple but yet effective. It is a dummy so it's based off a crash dummy. He does go with the backlink, the warning bow, which is a very nice combination. The warning bow actually looks very good because it does have the curve scheme of black and yellow. For the harvesting tool of choice, he does go with the upright axe and sadly enough, those are one of the harvesting tools I never actually purchased. I actually seen his combo on Twitter and my god, it actually looks really good. I actually wish I had the upright axe but sadly enough, I don't so I'm going to be going with the lucky harvesting tool instead. The lucky harvesting tool matches very good with the combinations of colors and it's a very simple harvesting tool as well. For the glider of choice, he does go with the cruiser. The Cruiser Glider is actually one of the better gliders you do have in this game. It is color scheme yellow so that's the reason why he actually went with it. He does go on the Control Billiards which is a very odd choice but I actually like it. The Billiards you really don't see it in the battlefield as much and that's why I actually do adore this combination. And for the wrap he does go with the Call Sign Skull. At first I was actually thinking why did he actually pick this wrap for this combination but I could see why. The orange from the weapon wrap itself matches really good with the orange from the scarf. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination, we are going with the Rogue Xbox combination and he does go with the Brainiac skin. When I first actually was messing with this skin, I actually found out what he was actually going for. He is going for the whole Hulk and Bruce Banner storyline which is a very good concept for a skin. He does go with the simple Brainiac and then he go with Arcanum for the backlink. If you are actually into Marvel comics, you know that the Professor or Bruce Banner does experiment with gamma radiation. The Arcanum backlink actually fits that storyline very well. It does have test tubes, it does have that green color scheme for the backlink and it just matches this combination very well. And for the harvesting tool of choice, he does go with the Hulk Smashers. Now I could see why he went with the Hulk Smashers because he is going for that Hulk theme. Now the Hulk Smashers is actually becoming one of my favorite harvesting tools in this game and for good measures. The harvesting tool themselves, you do wear them as gloves, they are green and they match this combination perfectly. And for the glider, he does go with the Avengers Quinjet. Even though the Avengers Quinjet doesn't match in color scheme, it makes up for it in theme. He does go with the Avengers Quinjet because he's actually going with the Brainiac being the Hulk. For the Contro, he does go with the Retro Sci-Fi. The Retro Sci-Fi does have that gamma radiation feel to it that just looks amazing when you descend to the battlefield. And for the wrap, he does go with the Meastermind. The Meastermind wrap is a very solid wrap and is very good. It does have that green and brown color scheme that just complements the skin and backlink. So let's check out his combo. For the next combination entry, we do have Jack Hansen 69 and he does go with the Survival Specialist. I actually do love this combination because the Survival Specialist is a very simple skin that was introduced during Season 1. And for the backlink, he does go with the Batman comic book cape. The Batman comic book cape actually fits very well with this combination. The cape itself is very big so it looks very cool as you're fighting in the battlefield. Then he does go with the harvesting tool, the Reaper. The Reaper Harvesting Tool fits very well with this combination because it does have that simplistic look to it, that sweat look to it, and it does have those bandages in the bottom that are white that complements your shirt. And for the glider of choice, he does go with the Webrella. The Webrella is an excellent choice for this combination. The spider web imprint it does have on top of the glider itself complements the skin because the skin does have black and white as well. And for the control of choice, he does go with Flaky. Flaky is a very cool choice for a control and is a very unique one. It does have stone flakes falling all over the screen and it just looks very good when you're the same to the battlefield. And for the wrap, he does go with the boogeyman. 
The Boogeyman wrap does have that all matte black finish to this combination that just looks amazing. It is very stealthy so it matches very well with the combinations of colors that the skin does have. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination entry, we are going with John Jefferson Jr's entry and he does go with the Tropical Punch Zoe with the back being the Buzzy Back. He didn't specify which version of the Buzzy Back he wanted to pick so I went with the Selectable Style one. The reason for this is because it matches very good with the Tropical Punch Zoe. He does go with the Harvesting Tool of the Fruit Punchers and in my opinion this is actually a very nice combination. The combinations of curves he does pick look really good and the Harvesting Tool is an excellent choice. He does go with the glider the base jumper with the journey and style and I have to say this is actually a very unique glider that I really don't see it in the battlefield that much. The combinations of colors and theme just fits very well with this combination. Then for the control he does go with the vibrant. Again the vibrant is one of those controls you really don't see that much in the battlefield. It's actually a very nice choice because it matches very good with the tropical punch Zoe's color scheme. And what I really do love about this combination is because he goes with very unique combinations and then for the wrap he did go with the pink splatter that again you really don't see it that much. The pink splatter does have that pink and blue color scheme that just complements the skin and the backlink. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination entry, we do get the kinetic entry when he does go with the Rally Raider with the mask off Edistelt. I actually do love this skin and it doesn't really get that much love. He does go with the backlink the wolf pack and I could see why he picked this backlink. Even though the backlink fits very well with almost every skin in this game, the wolf pack actually fits really well with the Rally Raider. The combinations of colors just fit perfectly and I really do like it. Then for the harvesting tool, he does go with the snake bite. The snake bite harvesting tool does have that gold color scheme that just complements the skin. It also has pink that really looks good with this combination and overall a very solid pick for a harvesting tool. Then he does go with the glider with the X and I could see why. The combinations of colors it does have looks very good with this combination. The purple and then light blue color scheme that does have as your design to the battlefield looks amazing as well. Then to complement that gold color scheme he does go with the control of the ballistics. Even though the control itself is glitched at the moment, the ballistics actually fits very well with this combination due to the color scheme of being gold. And for the wrap, he does go with the Neominos. The Neominos wrap actually fits this combination perfectly. It matches really good with the neon colors of the skin and then the glider is just an icing on the cake. It looks amazing and overall a very solid pick for a wrap. So let's check out this combo. Those are the 5 combinations I did pick from my community post. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos of your fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, 2Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the Iron Shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage from it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you want to be part of my next community post video, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and discords, they'll be in the description. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.